glands produce a substance, of course, we, you know, that helps with the, uh, lubricating the food and, and, and digesting it, saliva, of course. And this one gland here that lies right about here, right under the skin, below it in front of the ear. It sounds like carotid, but with a P. Carotid gland. And you notice the little dot, I don't know if you can see it from your seat, there's a little dot right there. And that empties into the mouth, right, adjacent to the molars up here. And this, where I've got my tongue, I'm not sure we go over that in the lab manual, where I'm putting my tongue between the lips and cheek and gums is the oral vestibule. And that's where the, the, the duct empties into near the molars. Up there. We have two other salivary glands. If you feel your angle of your jaw right here, you know you got your ramus, your body, and then there's an angle. If you go just in front of that angle on the body and then go and feel inside that, there's a lump right there. Uh, you may not feel it. Some people have bigger ones than others, but I have one that I can feel right there. And that's your submandibular salivary gland, meaning under the mandible. Makes sense. And then uh, there's Above that, there are muscles that form the floor of the mouth. Sitting on top of those muscles within the mouth, under the tongue, are a pair of sublingual salivary glands. So if you look at this model, the lump down there is submandibular, above the muscle is sublingual. And they have ducts that go and open up under the tongue. If you hold your tongue up, you can see two little openings there for those. So we need to know those, not so much the tongue anatomy. The teeth, yes, we'll study those, not only the parts of the individual tooth, the layers of the individual tooth, but also the types of teeth, too. I'll not uh, hit you with that on the quiz next week, but for the lab yeah. exam, you must, must know them. But this is the uh, mouth area, teeth, and salivary glands. Question. You swallow a quantity of food. Where does it first go once it leaves the mouth? Esophagus. Somebody say. Esophagus. I was pharynx. Esophagus. Yeah. No. No. Pharynx first. Oh, pharynx first. What part of the pharynx was it first in there? Oral. Oral pharynx, right? Then it goes down the laryngopharynx, and you got the switching device, which closes the epiglottis, closes the glottis, and looking at the back side here, and then the uh, lower part of the pharynx relaxes. There's a constrictor muscle that relaxes and lets the food go into the... Let me get my pointer here. The tube that leads down to the... Uh, I think this is a laser pointer. Well, maybe not. I'm, I've come really prepared, folks. Quite long enough to reach that.